Hello and welcome to the 514th Preserve DTS Step-by-Step -step Tutorial Annual Tour. We're going to go through a sample of an annual tour trip that would have populated from Arrows R. So in our example here, we have a trip for July 13th and you'll see create it, you see edit, you're just going to go in and select edit. Now just a note, when you see A01, that's an authorization. If it was a V01, it would be a voucher. So this tells you where you're going, the date, and if it's an authorization or a voucher, and then departing on is of course down here. So select edit. Once it opens, it's gonna open to the preview page. That's where you're gonna make sure that it populated from arrows correctly, that you don't need a mod to your orders if your trip changed. So your start date, coming from home, went to McGuire, and back at home. So double check that and you can always just keep hitting continue at the bottom to go through each screen but in this case we really just need the per diem um, section and the expense section. If you were booking your trip in DTS you would go up to the lodging um, review reservations and book it there. We did do a separate tutorial on how to book flights or how to book the lodging, so you can check that out as well. But um, technically, it would just come up and let you pick the different um, hotels. If you did not have lodging on base and you got a non-A for um, places that are on base, you can actually view a map. But it does show you which ones would be over your max per diem rate, so you do not want to um, select those. But if you already had gotten your lodging um, through uh, your uh, unit, then you just want to go to per diem and annotate that in. So under per diem, it's going to show you the days of your trip, and it's going to show you a defaulted amount. Sometimes it's 96, sometimes it's the max rate. It's normally not going to be what you actually um, need reimbursed, so you're always going to have to make edits. Now, this is showing similar days. If you wanted to see it um, broken down, you just hit the um, button up here for group similar days and it will show each day individually. But by selecting the similar days, you can only, you know, have to make changes for those one areas. If you wanted to see everything, you would hit expand all. And that's going to show you what is listed at this time. Full rate, duty conditions, locality rate, it shows you your max rate for the lodging so if you were put off base you cannot go over this amount so in our case we're just going to do collapse all leave them all um, with similar dates and make our changes so for this example if we're lodged on base it would be 77 dollars and of course um, with annual tour when you're lodged on base it is zero um, per diem for meals and incidentals so you would want to change the middle dates. The first date and the last date can stay your 75% of the max rate, but any of those stationary middle days must be zero. So we'll show you how to change that. So once again, your first date, 75% rate. The only thing you have to change is the lodging amount. So you're going to hit the eclipse over here and hit edit. Go in and change lodging cost to the $77. Nothing else needs to be changed because even though it says full meal rate, it knows it's a 75% rate of the max rate. So save adjustments, it's changed for you. Middle date, same thing, hit the eclipse, hit edit. You can do them all at the same time, all dates together. You're going to change lodging to the $77. And then you're going to change meals to special meal rate. When it's annual tour, it's always special meal rate, which will default to zero. That's the easiest way to do it. Save these adjustments, and you now have your meals and per diem completed for your annual tour. So the only other thing you need to do is expenses. If you hit expenses, you will now see that it's listing the lodging that you just put in there um, under expenses. It's not adding it again, so make sure you do not hit add and add lodging and add it again. A lot of people are doing that and then they have it in two locations. They have it under expenses 
and they have it under per diem. It can only be listed under per diem. You can upload your lodging receipt here, but do not add it again as an expense. So to upload your receipt, you're gonna hit details. It will show the different nights and how much, and then it has the area for drag and drop or browse, and you can pull it from a file. But we're just going to drag and drop, so left click if you had it on your desktop, left click, pull it in, drop it. You can select retain as PDF, but that means it's gonna to have to be downloaded by your reviewer or approving official. So I would leave that unchecked and just hit attach. And then what that does is shows it as a preview and makes it easier to review. So you have your lodging receipt attached. You're good to go. You can hit that details button again to collapse it. So now you do need to add expenses such as mileage or tolls. So add, you're going to go down. Like I said, lodging expenses, do not add it again here. It's already under per diem. If you had tax, if you happen to be off base with a non-availability, you may have um, lodging uh, taxes, and that's only when in the U.S. You do not do that if you happen to go outside of the U.S. But in this case, we're just going to do mileage. And it's always going to be private auto to from TDY if you're coming to McGuire. The only other difference, if you had a, an order that actually had you going um, somewhere else on a commercial airline, it would be two from terminal. So for this example, you're coming to the base, private auto, two from TDY. Date that you're leaving, start location would be your home. You can either put your zip code in or you can put the city state, whichever you prefer. And then in location, same thing. You could type McGuire or you could put the McGuire zip code, which is the 08641. It will find that for you. You want to pick Burlington all the time. You do not want to pick um, the Lake Curse one for Ocean County. So make sure you're always picking the Burlington. 304 miles is this example. That's why I picked somewhere far just to show you if it happened to be over 400 miles, you would need a cost comparison sheet um or 800 miles round trip but beans were under the 400 miles we're okay on this one so if you wanted to put um, any kind of notes on here you could type them in select add you now have your mileage going on your trip coming to the base you want to add it again going home so make sure mileage to and from tdy this time you want to pick the date, the last day of your order. In this example, a Friday. And then it's going to be reverse. It's going to be leaving from McGuire and then going back home. Okay, so many miles. Put notes if you wanted to. Hit add. Okay, so let's say you had tolls. You can either select transportation expense go all the way down the bottom tolls um, is down here or if you weren't sure where to find it you could do this with pretty much anything just type in the word tolls and it will come up so tolls on the way there let's say they're $22 you can either apply it to your government travel card or personal in our case we're going to say we use um, easy pass so it's going to go back to personal because that would have already been paid by us. Okay, so tolls going in. And then once again, we're going to turn around and say on the way home. And once again, we could do it by clicking or finding it by typing it in. So now we want, once again, the day home. So you always want to make sure you're on the correct dates. And this one's going to be $26.00. And once again, that's going to be based on our Easy Pass. And hit Add. So now you already have your mileage, your tolls, your lodging, and everything else. Now, what most people are forgetting is a copy of their orders. So where do you put that? It used to be substantiating documents would be on there and show it to you. Here you want to hit Add. Now, all these are expensive, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see documents. 
and then it tells you travel orders other memo so let's say you were put off base and you have a non-availability slip you could list that as other or memo um, if you went over the max rate off base and got an AEA uh, letter the actual expense authorization you could attach that as well so make sure that you attach everything so travel orders attach document here it's going to say browse I'll find it in my um, documents here's just going to be an example of a sample file I can save it as a PDF like I said or I could just save it regular and it will show up when it needs to be reviewed and I'm just going to say it's copy of orders now the reason I am typing in here is it has that red star it wants you to tell us what it is anytime you see the red um, stars on any of the justification or audits you do have to answer those so notice it says view attachment one I can add a mod to this I can add anything else so you can add all your copies in one if you wanted to so hit add and then now I have travel orders is in there as well if I hit details you can see sample copy of orders pulled from Arizona this is where your copy would be make it easy for it to be reviewed so once it's uploaded and you've uploaded any other um, items that you want it just select it back up so it goes back to details and then you can see everything you have now you always want to make sure you go to review authorization or once you're in the voucher review voucher just to make sure you have everything so you're going to go through once again it's going to show you um, your itinerary if you had reservation expenses you would see those here you would also need to upload the receipts to those as well your other expenses this is what you're now claiming in addition to your lodging and meals and incidentals so it's just going to be mileage tolls mileage tolls and then you have your substantiating documents so your travel orders are attached so that's how you make sure that you have everything now if you go back up to expenses that's where once again you're going to confirm that we would be able to see your lodging receipt details so if we click on here um, we should be able to see um, the lodging receipt so make sure that you put that in there so same thing left click and drag your travel orders lodging details here we go so lodging receipt um, in there if you wanted to put it on anything else like I said if it had that triangle you have to but if you had expenses then you want to add it to anything but you could add it to any of the ones if you wanted to upload your easy pass receipts you could do that so just make sure um, you know that anything that's supposed to be seen is seen and um, up here is download all attachments that would show you everything you had and this one is import a PDF if you wanted to um, definitely you know just pull in all the PDFs and such once again if you expand all it will show you which one has um, the attachment so that's another way to make sure you're doing this correctly and that you have everything so travel orders is in there you could also download it but it also does that preview and then your totals um, would be in here of what you're expected to get so you always want to make sure that your lodging cost and lodging allowed are the same once in a while it may have a different amount here um, than in the middle section if that's the case you want to just select adverse effects and that should correct that but make sure you're always getting um, the correct amount that you are supposed to be so once again hit continue and you could go right to um, the pre-audit um, section you have to go to that page so you can't just jump to sign and submit but if you wanted to just go through and hit everything to make sure everything's allowed actual everything's matching you can just keep hitting continue and it will go through each screen reviewing your profile you always want to make sure expiration date on your credit card is still current 
otherwise you would want to change that and then once again you're back at your preview page make sure everything's correct and I would suggest when you upload the travel orders go ahead again and upload the lodging receipt just to make it easier for the reviewer and the approving official so everything's right here we tend to go to this page first so if you have it there it definitely makes it easier once again these two numbers should always match and now you're going to be on your audit page so like I mentioned before anything that has the red star you do have to put a comment on so this is saying we may need um, the cost comparison sheet. We're going to put um, not over 400 miles. So I wanted to use that one because even though it's telling us um, by regulation, um, you do not have to do one unless it's over uh, 400 miles or more one way or 800 miles round trip. It's also telling you on this one that your tolls, um, you did not use the government travel card. So we're just going to put um, easy pass use and then already paid because normally you guys um, already have that linked to your personal account. So whatever the situation is, you want to just put a clear um, justification. So now what, what I did here, I just highlighted it and I hit control C. And then when you save this, I can go to this next one because I saw it was right beneath it. And I can do control V and paste it. And I don't have to keep typing the same thing. Okay. And hit save. And then this is the one that you normally get every single time. This is telling you that you did not do the reservations in DTS, which is mandatory. So you always want to book it in DTS. But if for some reason your orders um, aren't populated in time and you need to get those reservations, um, you know, that's when you would not. But try to book it in the DTS. And like I said, we did a separate uh, tutorial on how to do that. So reason code, all you're going to do is go ahead and say military lodging because even though you didn't book it ahead of time, you did utilize military lodging military lodging was utilized okay and hit save and so you're just going to make sure that everything with the star definitely has justification once that's done you're going to hit continue you're going to go to your sign page and at this point make sure that your routing list is correct you should be able to change it to a different one if it's not um, if you had any comments for the reviewer or the approving official, let's say one night you stayed with a friend so there's not a lodging receipt and you're not claiming lodging, you want to type that in there so we're not um, looking for it. So just type in there. You can always just type thank you and have a good day or something. But um, click on I agree to sign this document and submit completed document. Now once you do that, you should see back on your um, page that it says signed. Once again, this is the authorization. So your approving official will approve it. It will then become a voucher. Once it becomes a voucher, you will then um, sign it again and confirm everything's correct on it and submit it. And then it's reviewed and approved again by your approving official after we review it and it will be out for payment. Thank you for listening and please check out our other uh, tutorials.